focuses on men's issues like drugs, alcohol, and addiction disorder. We're talking all things here. We're talking about women. We're talking about our lives. We're talking about how we're doing as men. And today on our studio, we're talking about local businessmen. Uh, we have a born a hot man. They're pushing their own business. They're doing their own thing day in and day out. Tetana Abu Mahodman, and one of them representing them here is Mr. Ishmael Nkata. How are you, my brother? I'm doing good. Yeah, yeah, brother. welcome to the show. Ah, thank you for <laughs> welcome having to me. Welcome to Men to Men. Thank you for having yeah. me. Uh, Daish. Yes, sir. Yo, it's so hard. I see, I see normally uh, youngsters are trying to start their own thing lately. You know, it's been like that way yeah. back. But uh, it takes a legend to still be standing, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, for Uguba, who Mr. Ishmael Ngata, you from Zim, you came to South Africa. Yes. You managed to make your, your own footprint here. Uh, how did it all start, man? You're now running one of the busiest places in Cape Town, the gardens. Yeah, how did it yeah. all start? Where did it all begin? Uh, you know, every, everything has to begin, um, you know, from within you. You know, I've, I've always known that I'm destined for greater things. Like, everything that I do, it's always big, you know. Yeah, yeah, respect. So, yeah, it's also just having a passion for, you know, for people, like having lots of people around you. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's definitely one of the reasons why I, I, I started uh, the gardens as an establishment. Mm -hmm. and for, but before the gardens, was there something else? Yeah, you know, uh, I've, I've tried so many things in life. Legally, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I've tried so Unlike many things. Me. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not always going to succeed at everything. Yeah. You know, and there's, there's always this saying that says, uh, you, you, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you fail, but you can only be right once. Yeah. And I think right now, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm echoing that saying. Because yeah. Three years ago, I wouldn't believe where I am sitting today, and so it's a privilege for me to acknowledge the fact that you know I'm one of the influencers, yes. if not influential, you know, um, black business uh, men around in, Cape Town. Well, not in Cape Town per se, but in my community. Yes, let's yes, start yes, there. Yes. Let's start. There. Yeah, <laughs> but you're doing great. Um, Thank you. So with 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 your business now, yeah, uh, you you pushing you look your your establishment looks. It's flourishing. Yeah, I, I, I get at the gardens and I see you busy with so many different projects, including running uh, shows, promoting young men that mm -hmm. are giving them space, you know. Um, yeah. What are the challenges in such an establishment and, or, and on this type of business that you're in now? Well, the establishment, I mean, the challenge is always at the beginning because, mm -hmm. you know, there's no, there's no, there's no income that is coming to sustain mm. the vision that we're pushing because most of it is always like, you know, uh, you sponsoring the people that are coming to you with like, hey, Mr. Ish, I've got, you know, such and such, you know, I want to do this and that. Like, mm. for instance, you know that we've, we've shot how many uh, seasons for um, the slick. Yeah, the yeah, Slick Show, yeah, yeah, I remember, yes, the yes, show. the Guardians did that, yeah. yeah. So the Guardians did that, and then we also did another documentary with, uh, with uh, um, um, the project that we were doing during lockdown, yes, which was yes. the food scheme. I remember that project, yeah. we yeah. did that one, yeah. Look, so, uh, so how, do you, how do you say, how do you choose the projects you want to work with? Because at the end of the day, you don't want to compromise yourself mm. as a businessman, yeah. And as a, as a person that people in your community look up to, mm -hmm. how do you how do you choose? Not this is the project that I wanna work with. Okay, me I always uh, choose projects that touches a community. Mm. Yeah, because I, I feel like I'm the you know one of the main pillars of pretty much Joe Lobo, if I can put it that way, or just a seven four four one as a community. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. I've got a lot of youngsters that come to me, and mm. they always look up to me for you know, for, for hope in whatever dreams they want to do, and mostly like on the entertainment side of things. Yes, yes, yes. Correct, yeah. Yeah, no, let, now let's take it home. Yeah. Let's bring it back to men to men. Daish, yes, sir. you are one sober-minded person I've ever seen, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, uh, being, being in your shoes, 
it will probably choke me because you do this soberly where I feel like I'd be drunk right you now. You need to take a drink to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen the type of uh, pressure that you work under, uh, the type of people that you work with, and you somehow just so calm and collected about things and you get the job done soberly. How do you do that? Because I know most promoters out there, I know most socialites out there, they really hid it. Mm, yeah. mm, when, mm, how do you? Well, uh, for me, I grew up around alcohol. Like my father, my father was, a, was, a, was, was an abuser of it, if I should put it. If I think that's the right context of putting it, yeah. No, let's just make that context, context yeah, put it yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no, if you are, if you are an alcoholic, ne? Mm. It's, a, it's a disorder. It's not your choice. It's mm. like, it's a disorder. It's not your choice to be, to be taking it the way you're taking it. So sometimes uh, we think it, you are abusing alcohol. No, it's the mm. other way around. Alcohol is abusing you. <laughs> so but, it's, mm. it's a disorder. Let's just uh, fix that's it. That's a debate for another day <laughs> because I was once <laughs> On men to men, we know it's a disorder. It's yeah, not really yeah, yeah. his fault also. Okay. Yeah, I speak okay. on his behalf now. All right. All yeah. Right, all right. yeah no, <laughs> so yeah. yeah, you grew up around that? Yeah, I grew up around around that, uh, and I've seen I've seen I've seen it uh, ruin good people, mm -hmm. and you know I was I was I was I was also you know uh, raised in a family where that was always a problem. You mm. know, you know, like when your dad goes out, uh, he comes back. You know, it's a, it's you a, wanna it's hide just away. when you hear you know the door opening, you just wanna hide away. Yeah. So I've had that fear for you know, for so many years growing up. And you... And, yeah, I've never touched alcohol. I've never been drunk. I've never smoked a joint. I've never smoked a cigarette till today. And you promised yourself that, look, uh, this is not how my kids are going to grow up. Yes. This is not the man I want to be seen as yeah, or yeah. how I will treat. Mm. That's, a, that's a very... That's a very... Yeah, like, you know, I, I don't have anything against thing. alcohol. Yeah. But I think it's the, it's the actions that, you know, people... Uh, tend to do once they, they, they are consumed by it. Mm. So, mm. yeah, I chose not to, not to drink, not because I hate alcohol. Mm. I mean, I'm in a business of bringing people together so yeah. they can have fun. But I feel like I have to be the bigger person and always be on the watchful eye. Yeah, so like yeah, okay. Case, <laughs> we're, coming, yeah. <laughs> we're coming back to that. Um, so, you're still chilling us with us here on Men to Men, the show that focuses on men's issues. Yes, it's an issue as men. But you know what? There are bigger men out there that can handle it even better than us. You're chilling with us here on Cape Town TV and DSTV Channel 263. Sagbona ngoku. Asiegui advert. Sure. Back to Men to Men, a show that focuses on men's issues. As is a clearly up, no Mr. Ishmael Gata, a pillar of hope with communities like 7441, Slovo, uh, and the nearby places. Uta uh, Ishmael, busy with the show business and the entertainment business. He's a socialite. When's in Dozai? Uh, so, with, with, with you being sober. And having to deal nabantu aba aba selayo under the influence, how does that affect you as a person? Like, do you sometimes wanna burst? <laughs> uh, you know, like I said at the beginning, that uh, it, first it has to be a passion. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, if you can't handle it, you can't handle it. Yeah. Me, I feel like I handle it well, and I feel like it's my duty. You know, when people they are in my premise. Mm. to, you know, to, to put control over certain situations. Mm. Know, because mm. at the end of the day, anything that will happen, you know, at my establishment, it will come for me. So mm. I always make sure that people rather have good memories than bad memories of fights and, you know, uncontrollable actions mm. once mm. they're intoxicated, yeah. So that's my... Where, where, where you are now, mm. um, do you, like see other people like you, other elderly men like you yeah. trying to influence 
the kids and the community do the way you do? Is there a few of you or are you still um, I do believe that I'm not the only one and I'm probably not going to be the, the last, you know, but uh, with, 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 with what the guidance is to the community of Sechos Lobo, mm. uh, I feel like I'm the only one who is doing what I'm doing because it's something that is new. You mm. know, we've never had like an entertainment place in Jos Lobo. Mm. So uh, there's, 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 yeah, there are uh, much elderly citizens that are running certain establishments there, mm. but they are not catering for the youth that is now mainly attracted to the gardens mm. know, with the kind of entertainment that we, 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 we giving them. So hence, every time, whenever we have a show, it's always fully packed. Mm. Yeah, we just had a, we just had a, a last episode this past weekend whereby it was, you know, it was it was it was yeah it was it was well marketed, mm. and the turnout was great. Yeah. Wow, so um, now the type of artist and the people that you work with, yeah. how do you make sure that some of them do uh, use alcohol and drugs and stuff mm -hmm. like that? I wouldn't say all of them. Uh, but uh, how do you make sure that they keep to the to the to the mandate or what needs to be happen? You know, yeah. Because sometimes when we do stuff, we never show up. How do you make <laughs> sure that people keep up to the mandate? Yeah. Uh, well, fortunately, I've never uh, had a situation whereby you book an artist or a DJ and they don't turn up. Because mm. maybe you know, uh, you know, for whatever other commitments, you know. Mm. But I've always been privileged to, you know, to like if ever I put out a poster and say such and such is coming, they always come. Mm. And I think, yeah, that is that is that is the main reason why uh, we we are excelling at our at our at our you know at at, at the project that we're doing. Mm. Yeah, so if ever we say Nadia Nakai is coming, mm. so for most people it's like, hey, Nadia Nakai and Joss Lovell, that's a lie. Mm, mm, but mm. we've been there, we brought Nadia Nakai. Yes. You know? So if you look at Joss Lovell as, 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 as a whole, or rather 7441, so now I'm talking about Danun mm. and all the other, other surround, surrounding um, townships, you know. The only place that brings celebrities is, is the gardens, and that's mm. something that I built from the ground. Amen. So right now, it's I know now people that believe like every time you know, or well, if ever I say DJ Tira is coming, they don't have to you know to questions like is it is, is it true or is it like, because they've <laughs> because, seen yeah because that's what you were exactly yeah, yeah. Um, in your life have yeah. you besides your home have yeah. you ever experienced uh, somebody that is struggling with with drugs and alcohol and they may be trying to get out and how did you try to help them well apart from uh, from my pa my father obviously we can't talk about that you yeah. know because that's in the past but I think like right now I'm I'm, I'm surrounded mostly with the you know the young guys that are struggling with that mm. And you know, uh, it's 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 very sad actually to see what this thing is doing to the to the to the young people out there. Mm. You know, and I I would take it mostly it's because of the pressure, you know, the pressure that they get. And obviously, for most people, they have to process it under a certain uh, substance. Because sometimes yeah. when you are expected to 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 step up, yeah, yeah. You, you, you get a certain pressure that will need you to actually level up to Correct, who, yeah. who you said you are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I hear you, Daish. Um, so with, with, with the guidance now, uh, where do you see the guidance future in the next 10 years or so? Oh, the next 10 years, that's like taking it far. I think in the next coming months, pretty yeah. much, yeah. Uh, in the next coming months, uh, we 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 expecting big things. Mm. You know, we expecting um, to uplift our community. 
mm. and we are expecting, uh, you know, uh, uh, a great experience of the summer. I mean, a great summer experience. Once mm. we hope that this state wave, you know, it doesn't carry up to that much. Yeah. And yeah. then that this whole pandemic that is affecting the, the world as we know it today mm. has been a thing of the past. But, you know, in the meantime, we just we just we just do like what is regulated by the government, obviously, with all the uh, um, COVID protocols uh, followed mm. properly. Yeah. What else are you catering for? Are you only catering for shows in the entertainment business or is there other things? that are there that you're doing? Do you cater for kids' birthdays? Do you cater for people's birthdays? Can they come there? Can we rock up there and have our birthdays in a month? <laughs> uh, yeah, right now the main challenging part is that I, I'm, I'm still, uh, um, what do you call it? Like uh, there's, there, there's certain documentations. Mm. Uh, that 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 allows me to be doing certain things, mm -hmm. you know, carry out certain businesses there. So those are the ones that I'm still pursuing. Yeah. For now, yes. Okay. Well, we'll talk to you more about that just now. Uh, you're still chilling with us here with uh, local businessmen who da Ishmael Mkata sitting with that Ishiti nage abasamazi yoga gohle. Si se seven four four one. There's heavyweight out there. We see you. Chile uh, Nate Cape Town TV. Welcome back to Men to Men, a show that focuses on men's issues. This is actually no Mr. Ishmael Ngata. Ish? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, from, from where you've been to where you are, I'm very impressed with you. I'm inspired by you. There's another, another factor that's happening in a, in a community that we cannot ignore, you know, yes, gender-based violence. What's your take on that? Well, you know, that one is, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, I think it's, it's, it's something that most people, they need to be educated about. And, uh, you know, firstly, uh, uh, you know, like rather the victims uh, that, that, that fall under these circumstances, you know, it's, 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 it's not a good thing for someone to go through such a, such a discrimination, if not uh, an abuse, you know, either verbally or physically, you mm. know, from a certain being because of maybe how you look, mm. you know, that is, that is, that, that is not something that so the society, you know, should just look down upon. Mm. I think us as elders, you know, we need to, we need to, we need to educate our people, uh, you know, so that they, their views or rather they are, uh, yeah, rather their views, mm. you know, or their knowledge about that subject, you know, mm. is well, well informed. And uh, because we're not going to take out everything that, that, that uh, makes people, you know, behave in a certain way. Mm. Once they've, you know, taken it, either it being drugs or, or alcohol, and mm. then they end up, you know, beating their spouses or their children or their what, you know. That is do, we, good, you know. do we blame drugs for all things or drugs and alcohol for all things, or there are sober men or women out there that are abusers themselves, even though they're sober? Yeah. Is it, is it drugs, or this thing is it's happening? It's happening. It's happening either through drugs or through alcoholism or mm, through nothing. sober minded. Yeah, you it's know, the abuse is abuse. It doesn't matter how We just it comes have to up. respect yes, each yes, other. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, so what's your what's your advice for men out there that is, in general? What would you say? What is on that camera? What mm. would you say to men out there? I, I wanna hear your. Uh, my advice is is you know. My advice, basically, like on the on the on the women, if not the child abuse. Mm. Um, 
my advice would be, you know, let's love each other, you know, equally, mm. and let's not discriminate. And if I, if I abuse uh, uh, your daughter mm. or you know your sister, whichever way, would I like someone to 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 you know to abuse my my daughter in the same way that I did? I wouldn't like that. So mm. I think uh, you know let's 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 love one another. Mm. Pretty mm. much, yeah. Yeah, that's true, Taish. Taish, um, projects that have been happening. Yes, uh, the gardens uh, and around the 7441 uh, community. Um, what's the future projects that you are running now well, that are coming that side? Mm, um, there are certain projects that we are trying to embark on, which is uh, youth uh, development forums, mm -hmm. to try and empower the youth and just give them guidance you know, if we can try and outsource uh, influential people to come and talk to this to these events that we're trying to do, mm -hmm. so that we can coach our our youth, you know, and give them direction because most of them they, you know, they matriculate but they don't have a vision of mm -hmm. how they want to live their lives. And that also so, causes yeah. stress, right? It causes stress. I I I I see that mostly because. Like I said, you know, most people, they look at me like, they look at me for hope. Like when they look at me, they think, if he, if he has done it, you know, I think I also uh, have a better chance of doing it because look, look at where he comes from, mm. you know, but look at where he is today, look at the car that he drives, things like that. Mm. But I've, I've, I've earned that because of my work ethic. I respect myself mm. and I respect everything that I do, so, you know. What what other projects is that the only project that you that you trying to bring uh, youth together and certain people influential people to come and and motivate them? Yeah. Yeah. What other projects are there at the at the gardens coming? Okay. Um, apart from the entertainment side. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's 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 it's. Even the entertainment. What's the, what's coming at the gardens? Okay. Um, this. This uh, this month uh, we've got a we've got a, a birthday party for one of our DJs that we always work with. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's happening on the 26th of uh, June. Yeah. Uh, so it's all ladies are invited. And Is that a girls' ladies, night movement? That's a girls' night movement. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. Respect to respect. We kind of you know trying to give back to yeah. the ladies and say hey, here's a space and you know, come and have fun. Mm, you know. Mm. So all ladies are invited, and then all ladies are, you know, they coming in for free. It's only the guys that are going to have to pay. Yo, day. ah, hey, you guys <laughs> don't like men to men. Eh? No, nah, we we do, we do, but we've dedicated that 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 evening, you know, strictly for our sisters. Yeah, I know. Uh, we respect. So, uh, women, yeah, Vanani, good to know. You all welcome to be at the gardens for free this twenty sixth. Uh, it's gonna be your day. You're gonna be respected. You know how much we love you. Uh, we're sitting here because we love you. Daish, mm. thank you so much. We appreciate you for being here. Thank you, sir. Uh, to men out there, guys, uh, we see our social medias. We see how women are being treated. We see how how men are being treated. Uh, Ish on his advice, said we must respect each other. So please, let's try and respect each other. Either than that, please do contact Cape Town Anonymous, uh, Alcohol Anonymous, uh, for any any help you need concerning your drug abuse, your alcohol abuse issues, if you can't talk to your neighbor or your friend, contact please Cape Town uh, Anonymous, Alcohol Anonymous, uh, so that you can get help. The number is on our screen. Uh, another another contact that you can use, you can use Men's Clinic International. Contact them. The the number is also on the screen. Please do get help. Please do get help, men. We love you so much. Uh, from us here on Men to Men, we'll see you again next week. Uh, we'll be talking Nepara, uh, Le, le Films, Ape Cape Town. See ya. Sharp, sharp.